MUTV gave me the opportunity to try different things and find what I was really passionate about. We've come a long way. I wouldn't have the job that I had today. MUTV started, um, it was even before I started here as a student, with a show called Ville View. Everyone involved with the show, I'm Christy Fulkerson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Ville View. Two students, Claire Johnston and Chris Pontius, produced a half hour show, a magazine show. They interviewed people on campus, they went to sporting events, and the two of them basically did an entire half hour every week on their own outside of the curriculum. Villeview was the name of their show and Claire became pretty much a celebrity. She interviewed the president twice a semester. She took her camera on the road and she just was a brazen young woman who wouldn't take no for an answer and made it work. The old studio was pretty state of the art. It was amazing. They had tapes that I hadn't even seen before. Um, the DV cam tapes, I'd never seen those in my life before. And it was really, it was amazing to get a work on equipment that you would see in the backgrounds of sets on like news sets and stuff. So it was very professional and everything was new and everything worked great. And taking tours through here, it was always very, very impressive. One of our biggest challenges has been the financial challenge to keep up with the trend in technology. And as our production equipment moved into digital years, uh, we had to be able to telecast digitally. The old studio we had was analog and digital combined. We, we ran some digital on, ta on tape, uh, other, on, other on cards, but everything was run analog. We had an analog switcher, we had analog router, analog audio board. So every, everything was analog even though we had digital tape. The transition has been brutal because we've tried to hold on to as much of our old equipment as we could and yet maintain some sense of continuity throughout that. And over a million dollars later, we're on the air and all of our studios are digital. The upgrade for the studio this, this past, you know, this past rev of the studio, it was done in all in one shot. We ripped out everything. Um, we pretty much gutted the place. The only thing we kept in were the, uh, the cable trays. We ran all new um, all new wires, uh, put um, all the equipment that was in this room that made noise and heat, we put in another room, in a machine room. Which is kind of scary, because you're replacing all of the equipment at once, nobody knows any of the equipment, so everyone's learning all the pieces all over again from the ground up. This studio has a lot of super professional equipment. Um, the, the audio board I absolutely love. I remember working on the old audio board, which was an analog board, twice the size of this tiny little digital one here. This little digital one is always so impressive to people. Um, we have a switcher that can do so much more than the old switcher can do. We're all different, we're all file-based now, so there's no tapes, there's no physical media that students need to bring into the, uh, into the studio. Uh, everything is on a, on a server or several servers that we use. We record, we have one computer as a server that uh, its job is to record or play back any, any video file. The Chiron machine is great because you can do all kinds of titles. Uh, we put a monitor wall up here and made everything look uh, modern, up to date, uh, what students would expect going into a, a newsroom now. I know folks still haven't quite gotten to that point where they're really getting in there and understanding it and evolving what they can do with it. But it'll come because it came with the old studio too. You know, getting into that equipment and being able to really excel and pull everything out of it. In 2012, Millersville got a brand new upgrade to our studio in which everything was HD and new and high tech and latest gear. But unfortunately, MUTV wasn't able to broadcast our content out of that. So the next year in 2013, we had to upgrade and go HD Previously, we had been analog and standard definition. With the upgrades to the studio, we weren't able to actually put out shows live over our channel because we were analog and the studio was digital. Uh, MUTV had to, to go digital. Our cable system is digital. Uh, all the analog channels are, are dropped out. 
and every single channel we have on cable is digital, so METV had to implement this if they wanted to be seen by students. Okay, so with the purchase of the digital modulator and server, we were able to take our content and broadcast it in HD, and not only were we able to broadcast it in HD, but it cut the time that it took to produce that content and get it on the air basically in half. Our program is so much better uh, than it started, and we had some very scary, very simple interview programs with talking heads for 10, 15, 20 minutes, so we've come a long way. MUTV shows are growing every day. From a technical aspect, they're incorporating new things in the studio, such as using clips, making three boxes, using keyers, green screens, things like that. When I was a member of MUTV, I was the producer of News 99. During that time, we researched stories and we put them into a script and a rundown and wrote all the stories and edited the video and basically did everything that you need to do to get a good new show going. Producers are also making their shows better by looking for different content, by looking at the television themselves and seeing what other real world professionals are doing and then they're trying to mimic it. 2013 was a really big year for field shoots as far as doing a whole bunch of them went. We did football games, we did soccer games, we did lacrosse games and it was the first time that we were able to take a whole group of people out and make it live to tape and we had play-by-play -play people and everyone had a job and it was more than just going out and standing behind a camera and getting something that may or may not get edited later. Probably the most important thing that MUTV has done is committed to field production. Uh, that's going to be the future of television in general and the ability to provide students with those experiences is going to be key. The MUTV trailer is an upgrade from our mobile production unit that we used last year. Last year we had a set of road cases that just kind of split apart. Uh, they formed a full production studio, but we found as we wanted to grow bigger and do bigger and better things, we were going to need something that could hold and pull all of our equipment. So a trailer seemed like the only option. The MUTV trailer gives students experience outside of the classroom, outside of this control room, and it's a portable control room that they can go and new live experiences from different places on campus and off campus. We have two replay decks inside that allow for us to record two of our cameras constantly and play back a clip. The MUTV trailer has a Ross Carbonite switcher and an Avid Deco system in it. We have the technology inside the trailer that as long as we have internet access, we are able to web stream directly from the trailer uh, straight out to the web. So this was important uh, when we're web streaming basketball games and football games to be seen at our off-campus cable. In April, before I graduated, I was offered a job at WGAL as an associate producer, which was the doorway to where I am now. I'm currently a producer at WGAL. That's what MUTV started for me. It gave me the opportunity to kind of find what I was really passionate about. I started very naive and not really knowing exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I thought I did, but I didn't. And um, MUTV gave me the opportunity to try different things and find what I was really passionate about. Every day I go into work and I really think of how much MUTV has helped me because if it wasn't for coming into MUTV and writing scripts and editing video and doing that producing that I did here, I wouldn't know what I was doing there and it, I wouldn't have the job that I had today.